or robotics, the combination of origami and robotics, offers fascinating possibilities. From tiny biomedical devices to unfolding the enormous James Webb Space Telescope. At the Oslo Electronica Future Lab, key researcher and artist Matthew Gardiner has been developing orobotics since 2003. He and his team work on programming, finding new materials and manufacturing processes as well as creating self-aware orobotic art. In 2021, the FutureLab team found a playful way to study orobotics through artistic expression. Orobotic instruments were born. The concept was put into practice with a three-day workshop about the creation, fabrication and sound design of paper-based orobotic instruments. Enjoy! We kicked off our workshop by having a very inspirational and informative talk by Matt, Matthew Gardiner, who had a video call with us um, from Australia. And then, um, yeah, we decided to explore our backgrounds, getting to know each other before we actually started to put our hands on the orobotic instruments, meaning that I prepared a prototype for everyone to try out manufacturing themselves. So what steps do you actually need to make an orobotic instrument out of a piece of paper? We started with folding the paper, it's laser pre-cutted and to make it the folds more exact and then moved on to do the wiring and the last step is to solder the wires to the PCBs and then connect the PCBs via cable. The last step for the first workshop day was to come up with own ideas about a personal or robotic instrument. Then in the end also come up with a concept for the musical interpretation. What's the musical character of my origami folding geometry? Or also like, what is the unique sound that I want to give to my instrument? That, those were questions that we dealt with. The third workshop day was then we were ready for, for some input about how to realize the musical programming. That was where Arno came into play and he gave us a really, really helpful input about how to use the program, what were the basics to understand for the programming and stuff. We took a more specific look into the software which was developed by us, um, especially the Arduino code and the, the MaxMSP patch. The Arduino code is more or less the basic platform for uh, all the individual instruments. The MaxMSP patch, which we uh, presented in that workshop, is more or less something which they, they can use, they can uh, adapt, they can modify, but in the end it's also possible um, to use, for instance, a sequencer directly or work with some other software connections like Super Collider or Pure Data. Yeah, it was really good to see how enthusiastic everyone was about their instruments. We experimented with material, form and function, as well as different sound design options. And the outcomes are magnificent, and only the start of the exploration of this new type of avant-garde instrument.
Thank you.